Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMood. Here we have interesting algebra problem. So we need to simplify this. We have square root of square root of 9 minus square root of 8. The main idea to solve this kind of question is to create a formula inside our square root. Because if we have square root of a minus b, for example, square, we will have absolute value a minus b. We don't, we, then we don't have our square root sign, and the square right here, we just have our absolute value a minus b. How can we do this? Of course, if, if is it possible, we need to create a formula inside the square root. As you can see right here, the square root of 9 we can calculate right now, it will be equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 8. But how this formula looks like? a minus b square. This formula looks like a square plus b square and minus 2ab. So, as you can see right here, we can take 2 from this square root. But how can we do this? We can write this 8 as minus square root of, and we can write this 8 as 2 times 4, of course. Yeah? What are we going to do next? Let's take this square root of 2, of 4, and then we will have square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. And we just simplify this a little bit. But we have our 2 right here, and this is our 2 right here. We need to create right here a square, b square, and a b. As you can see, this 3 we can express using 2, 3 plus 1. So let's do this, let's try to simplify this a little bit. So we will have 2 plus 1, it will be our 3, and minus 2 square root of 2. Nothing hard, just a little bit trick right here, we write this 3 as 2 plus 1. Why we write this? Because we have right here, we have 2 and right here 2. But how can we create 1? Of course, 1 is right here, but we, we, don't, th we don't see this one. 2 plus 1 and minus 2 square root of 2, but this one we can write right here. For sure, of course, nothing changed. Equal to square root. So we have 2 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 2, and we can write this 1 as square root of 1. 2 plus 1 minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 1. So we have a really good case, because we have 2, this will be our a, this will be our b. But can we able to create a and b right here, something like that, in that situation? Square root of 2 times square root of 1. Of course we can, because we can write these two as square root of 2 square plus square root of 1 square and minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 1. Nothing here, just write this using square sign, it will be equal to 2 of course and it will be equal to for 1. And take a look, we have a really good case because we have our formula a minus b square. This is our a and this is our b. This is our a and this is our b. Of course, this is our a and this is our b. Right here, a square and b square, of course. And how this formula looks like? Of course, a minus b square, so we will have square root of 1. Right here we will have square, and as a result we will have 1 minus square root of 2 square. It will be equal to absolute value, of course. It will be equal to absolute value 1 minus square root of 2. We know that square root of 2 is greater than 1, so we need to put a minus right here, so it will be equal to minus 1 minus square root of 2, and the final result, square root of 2 minus 1. And this is our final answer. If you agree with this method, if you disagree, maybe you have any question, maybe, maybe any suggestion, write a question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.